Hello, everyone. Once again, I'm Mary McDonald at Hogwarts University. So, it's a week number two of Professor Flitwick's psychology class video project. This week's topic is what advice we'd give to our past and future selves. Now, I've always been kind of a motherly figure in all of my friend groups, even in kindergarten. When we played house in school, I was always the mother. I'm really good at giving other people advice even if I haven't really been in a similar situation. I always say, seem to say the right things. However, <laughs> I'm dreadful at taking my own advice. Don't get me wrong. I understand that it's good advice, and I understand what's best for certain situations. But I just can't give myself advice. I so I suppose there is a lot of advice I could give my past self. Some things, like always saying yes to hanging out with your friends if you're not busy. Never order seafood from a sketchy Chinese restaurant, especially if it's only two dollars. Also, don't try to buy books at grocery stores. The books there are for middle-aged soccer moms, and middle-aged soccer moms only. But in general, a good piece of advice for my younger and more naive self is to listen to your parents. <laughs> I know it sucks, but they're right most of the time. And before you know it, you're going to want their advice more and more and more than ever. But you can't have them guide you for your adult life anymore. Sure, you can ask a question every once in a while, but you have to be independent. <laughs> so enjoy your access to this free wisdom while you can. Giving advice to my future self is a little more difficult. The obvious advice is to get through college. Study hard, focus on graduating, etc, 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 etc. But the big thing I want to make sure is I truly focus on is my happiness. Happiness is so important. It's one of the three basic liberties granted to us as humans. The pursuit of happiness. We pursue degrees in fields we want because they make us happy. We want jobs in those fields because so many people are miserable with the jobs that they do have. If we have a job that makes us happy, we're just one step closer to being satisfied with our life. And isn't that the goal of life? To have a full and satisfying 70 or so years? Well, that's my goal anyways. So, I hope my future self takes this advice. Until next week!